before the full display, the assembling and demoing. Let's take a close up look at the kit. There are chapters or timestamps below if you choose to skip ahead. This is the small rig rotatable horizontal to vertical mount plate kit for Sony A7R Mark V, A7 IV, A7S III, and A7R IV. It can also be used to bring the camera closer to the center of gravity when using a heavy lens on a tripod or monopod. Not all lenses are compatible as you will see. The kit comes with a base plate that attaches to the bottom of the camera. The hinge arm allows the camera battery door to open. And it comes with a rotatable lens ring mounting plate for vertical to horizontal switching. Have a closer look. The unlock knob is to loosen and tighten the ring rotation. The two screws should be tightened with the base plate before proper rotation. There are rubber pads around the ring that prevent scratches. There is no pad around the inside of the ring, however. Tightening and loosening the ring rotation. The lens release button of the ring plate will be directly on top of the lens release button on the camera when the kit is installed. The two plates will be attached by these two screws, but you would have to rotate the neck away first. It has a magnetic double head wrench attached to the base plate. It can't be used to screw in the two main front screws, however. One end can be used to remove the anti-twist pin, and the other end can be used to screw the quarter 20 screw to the camera. The Allen wrench is for these screws. I had thought there would be some kind of rubber pad around the inner side of the ring, but only these as you could see. I noticed that I could remove the bottom of the neck and reconfigure it as you see here. But you can't rotate the ring after that. The base plate prevents it from rotating further. Therefore, it would be for more permanent use. Whatever helps for your camera to be more stable on a tripod. There is one 3816 threaded hole and several quarter 20 threaded holes. The quick release plate is compatible with both Arca Type and Manfrotto RC2 tripod heads. Arca Type goes in parallel with the wood small rig, and Manfrotto goes in perpendicular to the wood small rig. Here, installing the anti twist pen in the adjacent hole to prevent the camera from slipping. I will show you more on this indoor. On the bottom of the camera near the battery door, there is a hole for this anti-twist or slip pin. To lock the ring, turn it in the direction of the arrow or clockwise. To rotate the ring or release it by turning the unlock knob in the opposite direction or counterclockwise. The big rubber pad on the base plate is very thin but seems to be very durable. The pads on the back of the ring are as thin 
but seems durable as well. Let's now install the assembled kit to the camera. You would first have to remove the lens. There is no way around it. I would cap the sensor to prevent the dust from going in. And cap the lens as well, of course. The hole for the anti-twist or slip pin. Install the pin in the adjacent hole to prevent the uh, camera from slipping. Aligning the ring. Now use the magnetic wrench to screw in the camera. Then tighten the anti-slip pin in completely. The design has gaps behind the ring. I think this is a good idea, minimizing the possible contact between the kit and the camera. For less possible scratches. Now for installing the lens. This is a Sony lens. Notice the white marks or dots. They must be aligned before twisting to mount the lens. The sound you're hearing in the back? It's trash day. To unmount the lens, press the lens release button on the ring plate, then twist out the lens. To cap the sensor, there is a mark on the cap. Just align it with the white dot and twist it on. To release the cap, push in the opposite ends on the cap and twist. As mentioned earlier, not all lenses will fit through the ring. This new Tamron lens won't fit because of the USB-C port hump. That's unfortunate. Move the hinge arm if you need to open the camera battery door. At close up, in addition to it being magnetized, there is a slot that you can slide in the wrench. Let's go outside. Here's an Argar type system. Have a look. Say, if you don't have an Arca type or Manfrotto system, and you have a proprietary quick release plate system, you could still screw it in the kit. Take a look. horizontal mode to vertical mode. You may have to tighten the unlock knob more. From vertical to horizontal. Back to vertical. Vertical to horizontal. And back to vertical. You can see that you can still flip out the screen with this kit. And of course in the vertical mode, 
that you can still flip out the screen. A quick review. It can be a great option for photographers and videographers who want a quick and easy way to switch between horizontal and vertical shooting modes. The kit seems sturdy, well made, and seems like it's built to last. And it's lightweight and compact enough to carry with you on photo shoots. I would definitely recommend it. Anyway, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. I hope you come back.